So I've been getting a lot of questions on my channel about the lean-to climbing wall and I think it's amazing that you guys are out there building that. It's an awesome wall. Plans are available at climberdad.com if you want to go check that out. It helps support the channel. Only a couple of bucks, um, but it does help out immensely. I want to talk a lot about that and I'm going to do kind of vlog style or a podcast style video about that so it's going to be lengthy. This is not that video though. This is an update video. I just wanted to share with you guys what I'm doing. I have to go out across the country and pick up some of my dad's belongings. He passed away in February. And the best way that I could figure to do this with my budget, or <laughs> I'm killing my budget, but uh, it's a crazy, crazy thing. And that is I am I flew out to Utah. I am resurrecting a truck that has been sitting in the field for six years. I'm going to drive that up to where my dad lived in northern Idaho. And then all the way back across the country, towing some of the things that I promised my dad I would take care of. So here is a look at this truck. We've already got it pulled into my friend's driveway cleaning it out working on it and we're about to try to start it up to see if it fires up all right let's see what she does come on baby oh yeah Look at this beautiful oh, truck. This thing has done jobs for many, many years. It's needs some work. Just uh, blew off the engine, so didn't get all the grime off of there, but we got some of it off of there. I always hear horror stories of people uh, cleaning their motors off at car washes, so I really never do it because of those horror stories. But this just had so much weed junk up there that I needed to do something. We'll see if it starts. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. She's happy. Oh, she's happy. Let's get going. Alright, here I am. I'm on the road. I'm gonna to try to document this as well as I can. Sorry about the shake, it's a new mount, and uh, clearly it's not super solid. Uh, but this is, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. I rescued this truck, it had been sitting, my dad abandoned it in 2015. He left it at a friend's house because he couldn't get it running. It had been giving him issues for long before that time. And I came out last year on a climbing wall build, which you guys have seen. If you haven't seen, I'll link a video to it. Um, but I was able to work on it a little bit with my friend. And came back out on this trip did a refresh on it and she's running pretty good the, the gauges are so foggy and I've tried to clean them but they're so foggy that I can barely make out what it is there's my gauges I know that the voltage is working and it's looking great I know that the temperature gauge is working and that's also looking fantastic uh, the oil pressure gauge is working great, looking fantastic. My fuel gauge 
I don't know. I've been driving for about an hour and a half now and the needle hasn't moved. This is a 1976 pickup truck. The needle should have moved. So I don't think that's working. We're gonna have to keep an eye on it. It's incredible. I still I still can't believe it. I still can't believe it. And I love I love this part of the country. It's pretty awesome. I mean look at the sun. reason that a lot of YouTubers are in Utah. Like, it's just gorgeous. The light that comes through the sky here just seems to be better. Yeah. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this, uh, this adventure. I'm going to document this adventure as much as I possibly can uh, and put it out there. I know that it's a little bit different than my typical climber dad stuff, but I want to give you guys kind of a, a sight on who I am as well. And I think that this experience is going to help do that. And I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that it's entertaining. I, I don't know if I'm going to make it home. Like, there's some suspense there for me too, guys. Let's, let's see what happens. I hope that we make it home. So far, it's looking great, but this truck has basically sat for seven plus years. And now I'm driving it, I just after I get it running, I'm driving it 3,000 miles. And by the way, I got it running in less than 24 hours. So it's not like, I did not have the opportunity to really like go through it and fix out fix the bugs. I know that the carburetor needs to be replaced or rebuilt. We'll see how that goes. So, uh, I've got a problem here. I turned on the windshield wipers to see if they would work and I broke the switch in the on position. So now I can't turn it off. Yep. Just uh, wiping my dry windows. I don't want to park over there because he's got. Wait, that's trailer parking. Please turn off with the key. Oh, good. We're going to take this dash off. That'll be nice. Come on, get out of there, bugger. Get out. Oh, please don't break. Why won't you get out of there? without that mouse nest in there. There's a dead mouse in there too. That poor little dead mouse. There's the switch. Pull it out and see what we can do. I got the switch out. It's definitely feeling real floppy in there so I'm gonna see if I can uh, pick one up. Hopefully it doesn't rain on me. I'm just gonna leave it unplugged. I'm gonna leave the dash out or that this plastic off. See if I can find a tool to take this off and uh, possibly clean it. Maybe even uh, find a junkyard that's got one of these in it that's got some good plastic. All right, you guys, I made it. I made it through the first day and it's been awesome. I made it all the way to Idaho Falls from Stockton, Utah. It's about 250 miles, I think. I haven't looked it up. I'm pretty tired. So I'm in the parking lot of a Walmart. Just going to take advantage of this 1976 pickup truck 
bench seat, take a couple hour nap, and then get back on the road. Well, uh, first night in the Walmart parking lot, just not ready for it yet. Just not ready for a good sleep in this truck. It's time to go. Off we go.